एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी आई डॉक्टर नीलम विल बी टीचिंग यू टूडे बेसल्स इक्वेशन So today we will be discussing Bessel's equation. So for more details, you can refer to the book from S. Chand Publishing. Details of which are given here, and link is given in the description box. So Bessel's equation is a equation for which the solution will be found out using series solution. As we have discussed in the previous videos of the series on series solution, that for a series solution we need to find a point about which the solution needs to be found out. So and that point. needs to be found out that whether it is an ordinary point or not so we have discussed till ordinary point in the video on series solution now let us see that if x equals to x not is not an ordinary point then it is called a singular point that is if the the form of the differential equation is like this plus say sorry plus qx by px y dash Plus r x by p x y is equals to zero. So if q x by p x and r x by p x they are not analytic at x equals to x not, then it is called a singular point. A singular point. Then there will be two possibilities of singular point. One is regular singular point, and another is irregular singular point. irregular singular point so we need to decide whether the x equals to x not is a regular singular point or a irregular singular point so it is a regular singular point if along with that px into x minus x not and qx x uh, if we if we qx by px this is qx by px and R x by p x into x minus x not square, they becomes analytic. They are analytic at x equals to x not. And if this condition is not satisfied, then it is called irregular singular point. So we can say otherwise, it is a irregular singular point. So though this This q x by p x into x minus x not and r x by p x x minus x not square they were not analytic at x equals to x not not but q x by p x into x minus x not and r x by p x into x minus x not square if this expression becomes analytic then the singular point will be called as regular singular point as soon as any point becomes regular singular point then the Uh, the uh, series solution for that can be written using frobenius method the method is called frobenius method so by frobenius method and here there will be a change in the assumption so yx will be assumed as an x minus x not raised to the power n and there will be one more term which will be r which will be a unknown constant so very uh, n will be varying from 0 to infinity so the expanded form can be seen as x not is a not into a not plus a1 x minus x not and nth term will be written as x minus x not is to the power n and then the entire expression will be multiplied with the expression x minus x not raised to the power r so when in this uh, expression what will be the change that when we will differentiate it n will always start from zero because of the presence of this expression so this uh, will be uh, used uh, the frobenius method will be used for a situation where x equals to x not becomes a regular singular point now such a situation arises in bessel's equation so we will write down the bessel's equation
So this x is squared y double dash. This is y double dash minus x y dash plus x is square minus alpha is square y is equals to zero. So this equation is called as Bessel's equation. So you can see here that it is a second order differential equation with variable coefficient. So here the coefficient of y double dash is x square, the coefficient of y dash is x and here it is x square minus alpha square and again alpha will be deciding the order of the Bessel's function. Now we need to find out the expression for the solution about x equals to 0. So we see here that if we divide this differential equation by x square, so it will be 1 by x y dash plus 1 minus alpha square by x square y is equals to 0. So we can see here because of the presence of x equals to 0 in the denominator, this is this, this expression this expression and this expression that is this is qx by px and this is rx by px they are not analytic at x equals to 0 but x into qx by r px and x square rx by px they become analytic. So if this is multiplied with x so it will become 1 so which is said to be analytic and here also there will be no x in the denominator therefore it becomes we can say that it becomes analytic. So they are analytic at x equals to 0. Since they become analytic at x equals to 0 therefore Frobenius method will be used for this. Therefore the assumption of the solution will be y is equals to sigma a n x raised to the power n plus r because x naught is 0 and n is varying from 0 to infinity here. So we have seen that for Bessel's equation the assumption of the solution will be using Frobenius method because the point about which we would like to find out the solution is a regular singular point. So uh, we will use this expression uh, we need this is the assumption for us for the different for the solution of the differential equation. So if we name this differential equation as 1 and let us say that this expression is 2. Now we this is the assumption of the solution therefore we will uh, since the next step is to substitute the expression this expression and its derivative in the given differential equation which has been named as 1 here. So we need to find out the first order derivative and second order derivative for this. So if we find out the first order derivative of this so it will be y dash x can be written here as sigma n plus r a n x raised to the power n plus r minus 1 and as I said that because of the presence of x minus x naught raised to the power r this n will always start from n equals to 0. So then we will differentiate it once more because our given differential equation is of second order therefore this will be written as n will start from 0 to infinity n plus r n plus r minus 1 a n x raised to the power n plus r minus 2. So let us call this expression as 3 and this expression as 4. So we need to substitute this expression number 2, 3 and 4 in the given equation and then we will equate the coefficient of various parts of x to find the uh, values of these coefficients that is a0, a1 and so on so forth. So in next part of the video we will find out the values of this constant sorry. So in this part of the video we have learned that how to how to write down the Bessel's equation. It is a uh, equation of second order with variable coefficients. Since we need to find out the, uh, the solution about x equals to 0, therefore we need to check whether what kind of point it is. Since it is not an ordinary point because qx by px and rx by px they are not analytic at x equals to 0. But they it becomes a regular singular point because x minus x naught that is x into qx by px and x is square rx by px becomes analytic at x equals to 0. Since it becomes analytic therefore the solution can be written using Frobenius method 
there is a change in the Frobenius method for the assumption of the solution which says that the solution will be assumed as y equals to sigma a n x minus x naught raised to the power n plus r where n will be varying from 0 to infinity and r will be taking a fixed value the value of which needs to be find out needs to be found out along with the x values of the constants. So, in next part, we will equate the coefficient of various parts of x to get the values of various constants. So, for more details on the methods, you can refer to the book from X Chan Publishing, details of which are given in this portion and link is given in the description box. I am sure you must have liked the video. So, please do like, share and subscribe and press the notification bell for the notification of upcoming videos. Thank you very much. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.